All right, this is Stay Bright 8. This is not 15% uh, Silflox Foss. Uh, but what I will say, I took it apart and I see his Stay Bright 8, 8. Whoever put this in did a good job because he has no missing area. It's all the way around really good. So I give, I, and I'd seen this and I did a video on this guy before. I never took apart any of his work. He does have some problems, but not on his Stay Bright 8. So this is one of the ones where, and I think after all my videos, this is the only guy I ever gave a thumbs up that he did a Stay Bright 8 properly. And I just took it apart here because we're replacing this, his burnt out compressor, putting a new unit in, and the oil was all black. And I took out one liter of oil. There's the compressor lying down where I poured out the oil. One liter of oil came out and it's supposed to have 1.24 liters or 1.21 liters of oil so that means the other 0 0.2 is inside the lines and the evaporator not too bad we got a new filter not using the factory piece of shit that came with it so i got a bigger filter dryer going on there it's not an electrical burnout it's mechanical it's still running we got our suction line here we're gonna get this up and running today. We're not worried about flushing out downstairs or changing an expansion valve. We'll figure those out problems. He needs this room up and running now. And uh, so this is on an industrial application, commercial productivity. So this is getting done immediately. We are not putting back the old thing. This is years old. So this has a lot of miles on it. The contactors are all burnt up. A lot of amperage going there. Get a new, uh, uh, what's the name of this thing? Head pressure control unit. A new head pressure control unit that has a lot, a few years on it. So that'll get up. So we're gonna leave it factory, plain Dane stock for right now to get him up and running. And uh, then we'll put on the ambient control after we get his room temperature back down so he can control his room temperature. And then we'll put on the three phase monitor. They have a new three phase monitor. Supposedly Bluetooth connectable, some more bells and whistles. I will find out about that. I've been watching the videos on it. And uh, there's another company too. We'll see. Because he's had 10 of these and five of them have failed. So I'm not really happy. Even if somebody else put them in and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't matter. If the unit you put in to protect your system becomes the item that breaks down and ca causes comebacks and causes failures, then there's something wrong with the unit. He, he had it wired correctly and everything like that. Uh, and when they failed, when I came out here on the one, they, the other guy did the other four. Uh, it was on, one was a heat pump. And the very second the unit got a signal to turn off and it went to shut down, it would go instantly um, or power back fed somehow and instantly engaged the control valve the heater uh heat control valve the the shit i'm yeah reversing valve thank you and uh and the system would instantly with the compressor still spinning with the compressor still spinning under high pressure and load the reversing valve would switch right into heating from cooling and uh yeah that was not good but that's what the, the problem this caused on uh, a heat pump all right